Hey guys, welcome to my top 20 designer fragrances for the summer 2013, another year under our belts. Um, this year's list is uh, a great list, guys. I've uh, really, you know, summer's come and gone now, we're in the fall, and uh, I love compiling the list at the end of the season. I know a lot of you would like to have it at the start of the season, but at the end of the season, I know what I've worn. And this is uh, the list. This is what I've been wearing. I wear a lot of samples. I, I test a lot for uh, different seasons. But when I'm out uh, during the summer, there's a lot of favorites that I like to wear um, when I'm not testing out fragrances just for myself. Um, this summer in 2013, it was really hot and humid. So you're going to see a lot of these fragrances that are really transparent, um, simple fragrances, to be honest with you guys. A lot of these fragrances, the simple ones, um, actually did great on my skin. And the denser ones like uh, Chanel Allure's, um, uh, mainly Edition Blanche and Allure um, Sport, didn't do so well in this list just because they're denser uh, fragrances. So you're going to see them in the back end of the list. I still love them for the summer. Uh, but with my list, you know, guys, um, I, I change a little bit, but I stay with the, the familiars. You know, Issey Miyake, summer 2009, again, in the list. We'll see if it's number one again this year. Three years in a row, it's been number one for me. I love that designer juice. Um, it, it's excellent. And designers for summer, this is their bread and butter. Designers know how to do summer fragrances. Um, I love my niche, I love my designers, but uh, they really know how to do um, excellent uh, fragrances for the summer for designers. Most designer fragrances are built for the summer uh, for me. Um, now you're going to see top sellers. You're going to see some not so great sellers in this list. Uh, discontinued fragrances. Um, I reach out for a little bit of everything. I got a really large collection, so I have um, a lot available to me. Some fragrances are going to get totally ignored. I got some top sellers that I love for the summer. Aqua Digio's one name that I could name out. I didn't wear it this summer. It's not going to make the list. Um, that's the way it goes. I want to be completely honest with you guys. It's a great summer fragrance. You guys know I rated it a perfect 10 in my review. I love it. It's not a popular thing on YouTube. I know a lot of people don't like Aqua Digio. That's fine. Um, but for me, I like it. Just didn't make the list. I didn't reach out for it. Same with Bleu de Chanel, a top seller. I know I was going to get comments below saying, where's Bleu de Chanel? It's not here, guys. Um, I want to be completely honest. I didn't reach out for it. I, re I reached out for other stuff. Some of my favorites from a couple years ago, they came back in the rotation. I love them. Um, some fragrances, you know, I loved in the past and I don't like them this year. I kind of, with a big collection like that, you can kind of put it away, bring it back a couple years later. And maybe you'll love it. Maybe you'll hate it again. Um, that's a, a great thing about my list and, and the collection that I have. But uh, really an exciting list. I got some newcomers on this list that uh, hopefully you guys are going to go check out. Um, so let's uh, take a look at them. I have one honorable mention. Um, I really kind of wanted to mention this one because it was number 21 on the list. And I, I really felt like uh, I've been wearing this one quite a bit that I should name it out. So let's take a look at this honorable mention. Number 21. Uh, from Armani, and there's a reason why I didn't wear Aqua Di Gio that much this summer. It's because I wanted to test out the new one, the Aqua Di Gio Essenza, the new stuff. Um, at 21, I really enjoyed wearing this. This is one of those that it's kind of similar to the original, I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I'm not going to compare it that much. It's very watery, um, really nicely blended. I really like the blend. Um, this is actually my first real summer with it, and that's why I wore it so much this summer. Um, there's a lot less jasmine in this one, so it's a little less sweet than the original. Um, excellent compliment getter. Every time I wear this one, people are asking me. And these uh, a fragrance like this, Brew de Chanel, these top sellers that are new popping up, um, they're compliment getters. I, I can't say enough about uh, Ascenza. It's doing really well on my skin. Longevity is really good on this one. I was getting like seven to eight hours, sometimes even a little bit more with that one. Um, I know this is not a popular choice, but uh, to be honest, I was grabbing uh, onto that bottle and I was uh, spraying enough of it. Uh, I wore it enough at number 21. So let's get to the actual list. At number 20, this is a newcomer on my list. I believe it never made a summer top 20 list uh, on my channel yet. Um, this is from the House of Givenchy. This is a very underrated fragrance, a fragrance that not really anybody talks about at all. Um, I reviewed it back in 2009 when I first started my first Givenchy review, I believe. And this is, of course, Givenchy put on um, Blue Label. Now, Blue Label, this is more of a signature scent. Um, I really like wearing this one. Um, 
If I had a really small collection, um, this one would probably be in it. Um, it has like a nice cit citrus grapefruit to, to kind of give you an uplifting feel right off the bat. Um, it's got a little bit of pepper cardamom to give it some depth at the uh, once it dries down a little more. Um, a really good depth to it, a good signature scent fragrance, and I can wear this one in spring, summer, and fall for me. Um, this is a, a great daily wear scent, work scent. Um, you can wear it also at night. Um, really a good signature scent. Uh, all uh, basically uh, a really good all the way type of fragrance that you can wear almost all the time. At number 19, oh, we're gonna go with the House of uh, Bulgari. Um, they got a few fragrances in this top 20 list. At number 19, this one usually, when I reviewed it, I told you guys um, I really like wearing it during the rainy days, during the fall or spring, um, but this is Bulgari Aqua. Now, I like Marine, but Aqua put on the original. I've been wearing it a lot. Um, it's got that seaweed kind of citrus combo. There's lots of depth to this one. I really liked wearing this one at night, actually, summer nights. Um, this one really worked really well, um, really in the cooler nights uh, for the summer. I really enjoyed Aqua this year. Um, I believe it even made my spring list this year. Really, really good stuff at number 19. And then, of course, that's a top seller across the world. So check that one out if you haven't gotten your nose on that. The Marine one's pretty good too. <clears throat> at number 18, um, this is from the house of Caron. Um, Caron and of course Guerlain, um, always uh, people saying they're not designer uh, brands, um, they both started in just fragrances, but uh, Caron, um, this is Yuzu um, by Caron, and uh, this is uh, Yuzu Man, uh, really uh, this, this brand Caron, rich history, um, this fragrance is just their stereotypical citrus to uh, the market, very fresh, um, there's some fruits in here, there's a little bit of fig, um, but the, the lemon verbena in here is excellent. There's a little bit of woods. It's really uh, refreshing, but really a classic take on a citrus. A really a solid daily wear scent. Um, it's nothing too crazy or out there. Really just a solid scent to wear to work or to school during the day. Um, really, I felt like this one, I was reaching out for it quite a bit. And instead of getting like Issey Miyake for your Yuzu kick, go to Yuzu Man for cut on. Um, really, really great stuff from them. At number 17 is from the House of Adamez. They did really, really well in this list. Um, this one is always popping up in my top 20s for spring and summer. Um, this one is from the Jardin line. This is Jardin Solennel. This is probably my favorite. Um, I'm always mentioning this one. Um, the others are great. Um, this is, of course, a green mango top with that lotus leaf mid. Um, I really like the lotus leaf in here. It just gives it a really watery green vibe. Um, really, really nice. Um, it's usually more in the bottom end of my top 20 list than the top five or the top 10 half, um, just because it's not, you know, one that I reach out quite a bit for, but I still wear it enough to make a top 20 list. So check that one out if you haven't. Hermes does a really great in this list. I think they have three fragrances in this top 20, so uh, they did really, really well. At number 16, we're, all, uh, we're gonna go back to Bulgari. Um, this is from their tea series. Um, they got, of course, a, a green tea, they got a red tea, and they got a white tea fragrance. Um, I enjoy all of them equally. I really like the green tea the most, but this one right here, I've been wearing quite a bit. Um, this is actually the red tea. So this is a Bulgari Ote Rouge. That's the name of it. Um, really a nice tea note, but it, it kind of turns you, uh, uh, it, it turns the wheel a little bit on you because it's got a walnut note in it, kind of giving it a little bit of nutty depth to it. Um, really, really nice. It's got some figs, so it kind of gives you a watery feel. Um, great for warmer days. It's very clean. It's very fresh, but that walnut, uh, walnut really, really kicks in with this one. I really liked it. I'm wearing it during the day or even at night. Um, really, really great stuff. At number 15, um, a lot lower than it usually is in my list. Doesn't mean I'm falling out of love for it. Um, this is, of course, from Chanel, and this is from the Allure line, and this is Edition Blanche. Again, I'm gonna reach out for it quite a bit. The Lemon Cream Pie fragrances. Um, I love wearing this one dressed up. Um, I was wearing it more during the night, uh, during the summer. Um, for those cooler night days, you know, if you're dressing up, you're going to a club, you're going for a couple drinks with friends, um, this is the one to wear. I really felt like I had that citrus punch to, to still keep it nice and refreshing for the summer, but also had that depth to it during the night that really, really worked well for me um, at number 15. At number 14, um, this is again um, from the house of Hermes. 
and this is one of those fragrances that was really um, transparent. I really, really enjoyed those type of fragrances this summer. And this is uh, one of their older compositions. This is Eau de Pamplemousse Rose. Um, basically, this is a pink grapefruit fragrance. Very authentic, well blended by Hermes. Um, I really, really enjoyed that one. If you're looking for a really authentic grapefruit note, uh, go check that one out. Um, I really, really like the juiciness on that one. Um, really, really great stuff from Hermes at number 14. At number 13 is from the house of Kenzo. Um, I believe this one made a list before, but uh, this is uh, the little brother of Kenzo Power. This is Kenzo Power Cologne. Now again, this one's a little more lighter, transparent version of the original. I really like Kenzo Power, but this one has a high octane citrus right off the bat instead of uh, the original introduction to the original one that had like that floral powdery. It still kind of has that floral powdery feel to this one. Um, it kind of reminds me of Zia um, meets Muguier Cologne. That's what this one smells like. Really, really nice. Um, surprising staying power in this one. Like you're mentioning powdery floral and you're mentioning high heat. You wouldn't think a fragrance would, uh, would mesh well. Uh, definitely not, uh, especially like something like Zia um, in the high humid heat. Um, it, it's funny, with Kenzo Power Cologne, um, it did so well that citrus kind of burst it out. Um, and really showed me like a transparent feel to this fragrance and um, the hotter it got better this fragrance uh, went on my skin um, crazy eight plus hours in the high heat did really well I loved wearing it during the day I was wearing this at night also uh, really a great fragrance at number 13 for the summer um, it should be even actually a little higher than 13 to be honest with you guys now number 12 um, this is a fragrance that I finally found uh, a good spot for it. Um, this is from Dolce Cabana. Um, this is uh, really a top seller for them. Um, this is the original, the one. Um, I really, when I reviewed this fragrance, when I was sniffing it, when I was wearing it, I was like, ah, this fragrance, you know, this is an oriental fragrance and it just doesn't have enough power to it. Um, I've always had projection and longevity problems with the one. Um, I love uh, the scent. Um, I loved it. And I felt oh, it was too weak for the cold. I mean, it never really lasted during the fall or even the winter. I tried wearing it in the spring, eh. Um, but now I'm wearing it summer nights, spring nights. This thing is great for that. It's got a small tropical feel to it in the intro, which actually works really well if you're going out clubbing or something like that. Um, I love wearing this, just going out for beers or something. Awesome, great for summer nights. It's not going to last, but you know what? I love it during the summer nights. I mean, it's one of my favorites. It kind of gives me my oriental kick, but not being too dense um, in the high heat. I really like that one uh, during the summer nights. I really uh, enjoy that one. At number 11, this one, um, usually not this low on these top uh, 20 lists for summer. Um, I really like this one from Cartier. More of a spring fragrance than a summer. I really feel like this one, again, a little dense, a little thick to it. And this is Roadster, even though it's got that really um, transparent mint. Um, I love the, the mint in fragrances. It really just jumps out and gives you a nice kick. Um, this one's an herbal mint. So it's more of a springtime scent for me. Um, I like wearing this in cooler summer days. I didn't get much of those this year, so it's at number 11. Uh, but a beautiful blend from Cartier kind of gives you a, a really green punch and an earthy, almost earthy herbal uh, green punch. Really, really nice at number 11. Now let's take a look at my top 10 summer desires. Um, this one is going to start off with a Sean John fragrance. It made it in last year's list. It's going to make it in this year's list at number 10. This is Unforgivable Multi Platinum. Um, the more I'm wearing this, the more I love this fragrance. Um, I know, this is like an underrated choice. Um, really, if you haven't heard of this, this is great. Um, I'm not a huge fruity uh, type of fragrance type of guy in the summers. I, I really don't like smelling like a uh, fruit punch. Um, I don't take myself seriously with a fruit punch fragrance on, on board. But uh, that one, um, it really reminds me of Melissa Me Periat. Um, fruity. Uh, watermelon aquatic it's got a bumbly a bubbly kind of champagne like accord in it it really kind of reminds me of that um, really nice stuff from Sean John like I can't uh, I know that it's funny hearing from me that I'm saying Sean John's good but it's good I solid it's probably my favorite 
fruity designer fragrance uh, in, in this list. I don't, have, I don't think I have any other type of fruity fragrances in here, if you don't include citruses, of course. So let's take a look at number nine. Uh, number nine, this is from the House of Chanel. Again, um, they always do great. Um, this is on the sport side of things. This is Allure um, Sport. Um, one of my favorite summers, usually in the top five. Again, it's a little denser, and I wasn't wearing it that much this year. Again, still a top 10 fragrance for me. Um, I really think this is a high class uh, type of fragrance. Uh, it's got that orange citrus pop. It's done right. It's got that Allure signature dry down to it. It has really some depth to it. It's very uh, signature scent worthy. Um, it's not your stereotypical sport fragrance. It really is one of those fragrances that can be a signature scent for you. You can wear it all the time. You can wear it to work. You can dress it up, dress it down. Um, really an excellent scent from Chanel. Um, at number eight, it's a fragrance that uh, Allure on Sport gets compared to quite a bit. This is from the house of Versace, and this is Pur Am. Again, one of my summer staples. Again, um, this one has some depth to it also, just like the Chanel. Um, it has that citrus aquatic-like tinge. Um, again, very versatile, dress up, dress down for the summer. Uh, enough, enough depth to this one that you can wear it year-round. So you can wear it, uh, this is like your signature scent for work. Just like the Chanel Allure, um, um, really great scent. Um, I Usually the Chanel and this Versace, um, I can wear these uh, anytime. I don't have to think about it. I can wear it up, dress up, dress down, casually, at home, going out, perfect. Now, at number seven, um, this one, um, I, I love this one more than the Versace and the Chanel. Um, this is from the house of Dior, and this is the Dior um, Sport. I really, um, really enjoyed this one this summer. Um, this is, of course, the old uh, vintage version. Um, it's not the reformulated that you have in stores, unfortunately. Um, but this one has that huge lemon-ginger combo. Very uplifting, very nice stuff. Um, I think it's actually better than the Chanel and the Versace, to be honest. Um, very upscale. I love wearing this one when I'm dressing up. Um, longevity projection is awesome on this one. I really uh, felt this summer that uh, people were smelling me like eight hours through this thing and they're like, what are you wearing? Um, this one was projecting like a beast this summer. Really great stuff at number seven. Now, number six is from the house of Gabalay. Um, Gabalay did really good with their um line. Um, I know it gets bashed to, to no end um, as far as uh, bloggers and base notes and stuff like that. This Gallant online, they, they're, everybody's disappointed in this line. I love this line. I, I don't care. Um, I love the O version. I love the original. I love the perfume version, the intense. Um, this is the stuff. I chose the Gallant on the original this, uh, this year. I've been wearing a lot of it. Um, this line is great. The mojito vibe in this fragrance, the mint, beautiful. Um, really dress up, dress down. Uh, this is excellent stuff. If you haven't gotten your nose on it, this is different. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. And this could be a signature scent also. Really great stuff at number six. At number five is going to be a fig-based fragrance. Um, this one is from the house of Marc Jacobs. Again, kind of like a forgotten fragrance. This is Marc Jacobs' man, fig-based. Um, it's got a floral mid, very watery, green. Um, Figs does kind of give out like a coconut vibe in some fragrances. It does it in this one, so it kind of gives you like that tropical feel. Very leafy green feel, very transparent. Really, really nice from the House of Marc Jacobs at number five. Now number four, it's from the House of Cartier. And this is probably the first time another Cartier fragrance beat Roadster. Um, Roadster is my favorite Cartier fragrance by, by far. Um, but this one um, really beat out Roadster this summer, and this is Eau de Cartier Orange. Um, this is a big bottle. I don't know how big this is. This is 200 milliliters of juice. This is a lot of juice, um, and even for me. Uh, this is a great orange, citrus, uh, violet leaf combo. Really uplifting, really transparent. Um, during the day, this is absolutely great, and that's what I was talking to you guys about during this, uh, when I first started this uh, top 20 list, I told you guys that the transparent, simple fragrances were doing well for me. This is one of those. Very simple, 
um, but well done and that's what I wanted something just easy to wear and it, it did it for me at number four and number three another simple based fragrance this is from the house of Hermes this is one of their older fragrances also um, this one is Concentré d'Orange Vert um, this is a uh, great orange note in this lasts quite a bit and I love it um, I know a lot of people say that this one doesn't last anything. It doesn't last an hour on their skin. The Concentré version for me um, lasts like eight plus hours. It's great on my skin, especially in the hot, humid days. It just blossoms. Um, it does great. It was getting compliments. It's absolutely gorgeous scent from Hermes. Really a forgotten jewel from their whole line. Everybody's looking at the new Elena stuff. Check out the older stuff from Hermes. They have some jewels in their collection. This is at number three. At number two, this one um, from the House of Guedelain. Um, this has never been this high in a list before. Um, this is the absolute jewel. Um, this is from uh, Guedelain, of course. This is a Pamplelune. Now, Pamplelune, a grapefruit-based fragrance. This is probably one of the best grapefruit-based fragrances on the market today. Very simple, very transparent very zesty, very authentic. Um, it has that bitterness, kind of like a, a grapefruit would have. Um, it has it in here, it's very authentic. Um, almost scary good. Um, this is really good stuff. If you like grapefruit, check this one out. This is one of the best in the business. At number two. Now at number one, my most worn in the summer as far as designers go. This is uh, uh, always a staple for me. Four years in a row now from the house of Issey Miyake. I believe this is the best juice Issey Miyake has released on the market, including their best seller, Purim. This is their, of course, their summer edition. Only 2009, baby. <laughs> Some say there's no differences from year to year. I disagree. Um, I have 2008, I have 2012, and I just bought 2013. There is very much some differences. In this one, um, it has that green grass, citrus yuzu, very uplifting, um, very authentic. It has that signature Isimiyaki dry down to it. Um, really great stuff, great in the high heat. It's versatile, I wear it during the day, I wear it during the night. It lasts on my skin, it projects when it's hot. Um, it's just the perfect juice for me. Um, it just works on my skin. And that is my number one, four years running in the designer game. Um, this is absolutely gorgeous juice. I definitely get your nose on it if you haven't already. And guys, this is my top 20. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll have another one for you guys. Hopefully the niche list very soon. Thanks for watching.